try it again. <laughs> oh, let's see how fast that was. What's up guys and welcome back to the Johnny Q channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over this tactical fanny pack that I have around me. If you guys like this bag, make sure to use my discount code JQ10 to get 10% off your order. Go to 945industries.com. All right, let's get to the video. Let me quickly take this off and kind of show you what I'm talking about. Before I start this video, just a quick disclaimer. This was sent to me by 945 Industries and I am making several YouTube shorts and this YouTube long form video for them to showcase the product, showcase how I do it and how I would run it in kind of the real, real world scenario. Uh, so just so you guys know. So let's get into it. So this is the, what I like to call tactical fanny pack. It gives people who want to conceal carry a firearm more adaptability and more of a concealed carry option. Now I know you can have a holster and you can put it on your waistband, you could have an appendix, four or five, six o'clock, whatever your style of carrying is, like that's okay. But I found that in the summertime, you could start printing, it can get bulky depending on what gun you actually want to carry. I mean, even me, it deters me from carrying, but I still carry because I need to carry. And so when 945 Industries and I kind of, you know, put our heads together as to what we could do and collaborate with, I thought, man, this is a really good product. And there's a couple of features that I love about this bag that I'm gonna share with you. So here's the bag on me. And as you saw there, putting the bag on was very easy. And you kind of want to have, you know how you sling a rifle? Uh, you kind of want to sling it the same way, but I'm right-handed, so I'm going to be slinging it the opposite, so on my left shoulder, so that when I go and pull this tab, just like that, I can reach, grab my concealed carry from the holster inside the bag, and then I'm good to go. I'm ready to go to work. For those of you who want to know, I'm concealed carrying a six-hour X macro, and yes, this is loaded right now because I'm at the range, and I'll be showcasing you a couple of the drills that I've been doing to kind of get better at drawing from this bag. So 945 Industries was like, hey, what kind of gun do you carry? I'm like six hour X macro with a red dot. And they're like, perfect. So they sent out the bag, but also this right here. It's actually, this right here is the holster. It's orange. I actually, I love that color too. But there's also this really thick uh, Velcro attached to the holster, which uh, the inside is Velcro. Well, this is Velcro, but then it attaches so you can kind of customize it, you know, however you want to carry your concealed carry. And so what I like to do is I like to actually attach it to my bag kind of in this diagonal, you know, way, just because this is how I would normally kind of gravitate towards grabbing my concealed carry if it was on my chest. And so it's pretty easy to grab, to maneuver, and it fits in the bag pretty well. And this bag is pretty big and deep, so it can fit a full-size gun if need be. So it's actually pretty genius in how they designed it. And on the inside here, you can see these two tabs that are flopping around here. And so because I'm coming from a diagonal carry, I wanna flip this tab on the inside and leave it alone. And as I'm zipping the tactical fanny pack, I'll zip both sides and I'll leave this tab open kind of on the top here so that it's kind of lying just like this. And so then whenever I need it, hopefully I never do, I'm ready to go. So as I've been performing these drills, I've been starting with the, uh, my hand on the tab just so I have a good feel for it before I try to reach for it. I'll be, I'll be starting here in this position with the, my hand on the tab. So right now, that was a 1.70 with a split time of 0 0.014. So that right there is a pretty good time coming out of a holster, especially out of a zippered bag like this one. So let me do this really quick. And so kind of the, let me zip it up, there we go. So a couple of the challenges that I've seen from this bag is that when I first started pulling the tab, I gravitated towards pull tab, zipper, and then I'm drawing. But I realized like, yeah, I got can be fast in doing that, but also it could be faster. Let me explain. So as we zip up both sides, what you wanna do is pull, right? As hard and as fast as you can in a downward forward motion. But I realized in doing so, 
this zipper got stuck because it's not going, uh, it's not going down in front of me. It's going down and to the side, like diagonally from me. So I decided and I found out that if I pull the tab hard down and to the left in the direction of the zipper and the way it's going, I'm gonna have more success getting that concealed carry out as fast as possible and then I can go to work. So let me kind of demonstrate slowly and then we can kind of speed it up, okay? So here's a tab, I'll pull in that direction where the zipper's going and then I'll grab. And what I like to do is I like to kind of keep hold of the tab as I'm grabbing my concealed carry because then I can really use this force to drive out my concealed carry and then meet my hand here and then go to work. So a little faster, it'll look like this. So even that right there, I felt was kind of, you know, not as fast as I could have done it, but still it was rather quick. And so if you're out and about with your family, with yourself, uh, and something happens where there's an active shooter, like I feel like I would be confident enough to perform that maneuver. This tactical fanny pack gives you the tools to be successful in that scenario. So let me try to run it in, in a drill format and we'll see how fast we can do it. So that was uh, last was 1.70. Let's see what we can do next. <laughs> Hold on, let me holster up. And then I'll show you the time here. Look at this. Hold on, this was a 1.55 with a split of 0.16. Look at this. Wow. Isn't that, isn't that crazy? You know, I can fit my full size phone in here just fine. You could do business cards, credit cards, whatever. And on the back side here, there's there's another zipper you can put, you know, money, whatever, lotion. I don't know why you would need lotion. Maybe you got dry hands. Uh, but whatever you might need or, you know, an extra mag, you can put it in the tactical fanny pack. So really, guys, like this is kind of a genius design. This to me is just simple. It's plain and it's very minimalistic, which I love. And it doesn't really draw attention to you. You know, if you're outside walking, like sure, there's a little tap sticking out, but you can also tuck it, you know, back here, right? And so it's not, it's not very like in your face. This is a very tactical bag. You know, there might be some sort of a firearm or something to deal with, you know, that, that thing or the guns, right? And so that's why I like it. And if you want to get this bag for yourself, go to their website, 945industries.com and enter code JQ10 to get 10% off. Okay, uh, I will link that down below for you guys. But I would highly recommend you guys getting one, but also going to the range, putting it on and training with it as much as possible because that's really what's gonna make you get even better with getting your concealed carry out of this bag. So let's go one more time, throw out a couple shots here. Let's try it again. Whew. All right, that one was 1.21 with a split of 0.19. To be honest, like the fact that you can get that quick out of a, you know, a concealed carry style bag that's on your person and on your chest, that's amazing. So uh, I appreciate you guys watching. I think at some point, maybe I'll do like a follow-up video in about a month or two. Once I like, I can, you know, once I've been out there in the real world, you know, around my family, other people and kind of how it feels, if it's heavy, if it gets heavy, if it gets sweaty on you, stuff like that. So maybe down the road here, we'll do another kind of recap video on this tactical bag. So thanks for watching guys. And I'll catch you in the next Johnny Q video. Peace. All right. One more time. Can we go faster? <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see how fast that was. That was 1.30 split time of 0.14. So, I mean, still pretty fast, man. That's, that's pretty crazy. Let's try it again. Whew. Oh, 